Hey learners, this is Dr. Rishi from the Learners Academy and today we are going to solve some numerical examples from the topic work, energy and power. We have already done videos that described these to this topic theoretically in the past. The links for the same videos is given in the description box. If you have any queries, you can go to that uh, those links and check them out. So without losing any time, let's go ahead and check out these examples. The first question that we are going to do is example number four. This is a solved example from the book. Uh, the, the, exa the example is as follows. A force of 15 newtons is required to pull up a body of mass 2 kilograms through a distance of 5 meters along an inclined plane making an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal as shown in the figure. Now we have to calculate the work done by the force in pulling the body, the force due to the gravity on the body, work done against the force due to the gravity and account of uh, account for the difference in the answer of part 1 and 2. Now there is a mistake here. Uh, this shouldn't be part 1. Uh, this should be part yeah this should be part 2 and 3. This should be part 2 and 3. Yeah. Now so what do we have here? So oh, we have a body 2 kilograms and uh, we are trying to pull it on this incline like this so it is going from this point to this point and the distance between them is 5 meters so let's talk about the first thing that is the work done by the force in pulling the body so work done we know is force multiplied by the distance in the direction of the force so yapar ye jo distance covered it is in the direction of the force because force isi direction mein hai so it is pretty simple it would be 15 newtons multiplied by 5 meter giving us the work done as 75 joules now uh, the next thing that we have is the force done due to the gravity so point a pe kitna force hai uska so it is it is having a force of uh, mg mass multiplied by acceleration due to gravity so at this point it would be 19.6 newtons now abhi the third thing they're asking is work done against the force due to gravity so yaha se yaha par leke ja rahe to what is the work done against the gravity abhi apne pehle isme kya kiya tha 75 joules 75 joules were for what for actually taking it from point A to point B. Now here we are considering only the work done to take the body from point C to point B. Vertically ja raha hai, utna hi uska vertical component apan ko find karna hai yaapar. So how are we going to do it? So it's going to be, uh, so the work done against uh, the force due to gravity, we'll call it W dash and it would be work done due to gravity multiplied by vertical height moved. So work done here is how much we have found out in the last time. And then the height moved is BC. BC ka value we have given to us. But what is given to us? This angle is given to us. So we are going to use our good old trigonometry. Trigonometry tells us sin theta is equal to opposite side upon hypotenuse. So, here for opposite side of BC, BC I have to find the hypotenuse hai AB. So, AB I have to find the So, I can use this uh, formula and get sin 30 is equal to BC upon AB. Now, so what is going to It is going to be equal to. So, I will erase it. Okay. So, what is going to happen? So, yeah. W dash would be mg times AB sin theta. Because AB go to the side, ko lenge, to BC would be equal to AB sin theta. So, AB is the side. Ko jana hai. Yeah? So, what is sin 30? Sin 30 is half. So, we can write it as 19.6, which we got in the previous case, multiplied by 5, multiplied by half, giving us the final answer as 49 joules. So, out of the 75 joules that I got in the first case, 49 joules मेरे को लग रहा है ये B से लेके C तक C तक जाने के लिए that is in the vertical direction 
okay now what why is there a difference between these two so let us check out why there is difference between these two points that is the third and the uh, the, the the third and the second case now the work done in the first case was 75 joules it was uh, larger and uh, as compared to the work done in the second case and a difference kitna hai? 16 joules hai. so 16 joules is the work done against the force of friction so isko yaha se leke yaha par leke ja raha so there is some friction at at the surface so jab ye jo yaha par jo ghis raha hai wo uski wajah se there would be some frictional force on the body and that uh, 16 joules would be uh, taken to overcome that frictional force okay so you can quickly make a note of this i'll take you to the first slide and then you can quickly make a note of this you can quickly make a note of this then the note of this and then this now let's go ahead with the next example that is there the next example we have is example number five which tells us calculate the power of an engine now the first case we had work done here the chapter is work power and energy so here we are trying to calculate the power of an engine uh, required to lift so this is the load that we are lifting 10 to the power of 5 kilograms of coal per hour so there is also time given from a mine how deep is the mine so it is 36 uh, 360 meters so uh, 360 meters here per mera coal hai yeah aap logo ne kgf mein dekha hoga wo उधर तो गोल्ड था यहां पर ऐसा कोल है और इसको मेरे को ऊपर लेके जाना है टू द सरफेस तो ये कितना है 360 मीटर्स है यस yes, ये कितना है मेरा 10 10 टू द पावर ऑफ 5 किलोग्राम्स इतने को मेरे को ऊपर लेके जाना कितने डिस्टेंस है 360 मीटर्स now we have power find out. So what is given? Mass is uh, 10 to the power of 5 kilograms. Now, this easy thing that they have given G as 10 meters per second square. 9.8 is a little answer alagata, and we would have to do some more calculations. But 10 is it is easier. Yeah. So acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second square. Uh, and the height that we have to go through is 360 meters. Now time is 1 hour. ये बहुत important है one hour दिया उन्होंने we have to convert it into seconds one hour is equal to three six zero zero seconds so first we find out the work done what is the work done work done is mgh in this case so uh, we'll write it as uh, because the force at this point would be mg mg pulling downwards and then height यहाँ से लेके यहाँ तक के height मेरे को कितना मेरा three six three sixty uh, meters mera height hai. now you see they are doing they are doing a very smart work here they are they've kept the formulas as they are and then we can write the uh, final jab upon final formula sub reduce kar denge to directly values input kar sakte because majority of the things would get cancelled out so here work done power would be work done divided by time taken so it is mgh upon t to mera m kitna hai 10 to the power of 5 mera g hai 10 mera h hai 360 और मेरा टाइम है 3600 ये जीरो को ये जीरो चला गया ये जीरो को ये जीरो चला गया 360 गॉन फॉर दिस या सो वी आर लेफ्ट विद 10 टू द पावर ऑफ 5 वॉट्स वी कन्वर्टेड इनटू किलोवॉट्स सो दैट इज 100 किलोवॉट्स अगर आप बस इतना भी आंसर लिखोगे 10 टू द पावर ऑफ 5 वॉट दे शुड जनरली गिव यू द द आंसर दे शुड जनरली गिव यू द फुल मार्क्स बिकॉज़ यहां पर mentioned nahi hai to convert it into kilowatt but it is always better to convert it into kilowatt and write it in this notation okay to abhi agla wala dekh lete quickly before we go ahead quickly make a note of this fir apan agla wala example dekh lenge now we started with exercise so this is exercise 
टू ए क्वेश्चन नंबर टू नाउ आई हैव रिटन द क्वेश्चन अकॉर्डिंग टू माई बुक देर आर आई हैव लेटर आई एंडेड अप चेकिंग इट एंड आई फाउंड आउट दैट देर आर सर्टन न्यूमर नंबर चेंजेस सो फॉर्मूला वगैरह तो सब सेम है मेनी ऑफ द टाइम्स जस्ट दे डबल द नंबर और हाफ द नंबर थ्रू एंड थ्रू गिविंग अस एग्जैक्टली द सेम आंसर हाव एवर एग्जाम्पल थोड़ा सा अलग दिखेगा या सो ना वॉट इज दिस एग्जाम्पल दैट वी हैव अ बॉय ऑफ मास फोर्टी किलोग्राम्स रन अपस्टेयर्स एंड रीच इज द हाइट एट द एट मीटर हाई फ्लोर इन फाइव सेकेंड्स क्या क्या दिया है मास दिया है उसका हाइट दिया है कितना गया है टाइम दिया है कितना गया फोर्स ऑफ ग्रेविटी एक्टिंग ऑन द बॉय द वर्क डन बाय हिम अगेंस्ट द फोर्स ऑफ ग्रेविटी एंड द पावर स्पेंट तो दो तो यह फोर्स भी निकालना है वर्क डन भी निकालना है और पावर भी निकालना है तो लेट एस क्विकली गो हेड यहाँ पर भी इजी चीज है कि जी इजी टेक रहे टेन मीटर्स पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर हम जी तभी 10 मीटर्स पर सेकंड स्क्वायर लेंगे जब उन्होंने दिया होगा अगर उन्होंने दिया नहीं है तो ऐसा नहीं करना है अपने मन से नहीं करना है ओके तो वी गेट मास ऑफ बाय बॉय कितना है मेरा 40 किलोग्राम है वर्टिकल हाइट मूव्ड एच इज एट मीटर्स एंड टाइम टेकन इज फाइव सेकेंड्स तो फोर्स ऑफ ग्रेविटी ऑन द बॉय इज एम सो दैट वुड बी फोर्टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन दैट इज फोर हंड्रेड now uh while climbing the boy has to do work against the force of gravity so work done by the boy in climbing would be the force to yahan par kaun sa wala force hai gravitational force hai jo uske upar tha multiplied by the distance uh moved in the direction of the force to bhi a vertical height hai yes though he is running on a staircase like this अगर मेरा ये स्टेयर केस है और वो ऐसा ऊपर नीचे से ऊपर जा रहा है वो दौड़ दौड़ के यस सो ही इज गोइंग अप द स्टेयर केस लाइक दिस तो उन्होंने क्या दिया है कि ये जो डिफरेंस है ये कितना है ये एट मीटर है सो द हाइट वर्टिकल हाइट इज एट मीटर उन्होंने हॉरिजॉन्टल डिस्टेंस या फिर यहां से यहां तक कितना डिस्टेंस है वो नहीं दिया है जैसे पिछले वाले एग्जाम्पल में था so it is crucial for you to understand ki directly height diya hai to directly use karo usko to work done would be force multiplied by the distance that is 40 400 multiplied by 8 that would be 3200 joules then we come to the last part that is the power spent power we know it is work done upon time taken so work done is 3200 upon 5 so that is 640 watts so this is the power that is spent by the the boy to go from uh, say this point yaha se leke yaha par ja raha hai okay so quickly make a note of this also you can scribble down on this diagram so that it is a better understanding for you now let's go ahead with the next example this is example number 3 we have a man uh he spends uh, 6.4 kilojoules of energy in uh displacing a body by 64 meters in the direction in which he applies the force in 2.5 seconds so we have to find the force applied and we have to find the uh, power spent yaha par they've played a very smart trick they have given a in hp that is in horse power to abhi apne ko power bhi find karna hai aur wo ek specific units mein bhi find karna hai it's again a very important thing kyunki agar ye hp mein convert karke nahi likhenge apne to they'll cut half mark at times even one mark for that kyunki unhone specify kiya ki unko to hp mein chahiye horse power mein chahiye to let's see what we get so uh first we write whatever is given now uh, we know that work done by the man is force multiplied by the distance so it's a uh, 6.4 times 10 to the power of 3 kilo joules hai to usko pehle maine uh, scientific notation mein likh liya yes so this is the work done it is equal to force multiplied by 64 giving me 
द फोर्स अप्लाइड अभी ये जो 64 फोर है ये साइड में चला जाएगा तो डिवीजन बन जाएगा सो दिस साइड नीड्स टू बी डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्सटी फोर तो विल गेट एफ इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट फोर टाइम्स टेन टू द पावर ऑफ थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्सटी फोर गिविंग अस द फोर्स एज वन हंड्रेड न्यूटन्स ना अभी फाइंड करेंगे पावर पावर कैसे निकालेंगे पावर इज इक्वल टू पावर स्पेंट इज इक्वल टू वॉट तो इट इज वर्क डन डिवाइडेड बाय द टाइम स्पेंट तो वर्क डन तो उन्होंने ऑलरेडी दिया है मेरे को 6.4 किलो जूस आई यूज इट एज इट इज एंड आई गेट सो इफ आई डू द डिविजन आई लैंड अप विथ टू फाइव वॉट ये जो मेरा जब भी आंसर आएगा वो वॉट में आएगा Now we need to know the conversion factor. One horsepower is equal to 746 watts, or one watt is equal to one upon 746 horsepowers. So uh, 2560 watts would be 2560 upon 746 horsepowers, which would approximately come to uh, 3.43 horsepowers. Now, whenever we write answers in these kind of uh, scenarios, we generally terminate the answer. By the second decimal. So, अगर इसके आगे भी obviously when we do the division, इसके आगे भी लंबा चौड़ा एक division आएगा. But uh, we would terminate it by uh, the second uh, decimal place. So we'd write it as 3.43 horsepowers. Quickly make a note of this so that we can go ahead. अगला वाला question है question number eight, which tells us a pump is used to lift 500 kilograms of water. From a depth of a big mass, the amount of 500 kilograms, depth the amount of 40 meters in 10 seconds. Now this is again a very uh, special and different kind of force because here the efficiency is given, which is 40 percent. Yeah. So we have work done by the pump and the power at which the pump works and the power rating of the pump if the efficiency is 40 percent. Okay. So we have to see what happens. So first is work done in uh, raising 500 kilogram of uh, kilogram mass to a height of 80 meters is against the force of gravity. So first is we find the work done. Work done would be m force. How much will be my mg force? Will be and height will be my h. So it would be mgh. So we end up with uh, 500 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 80. 500 my mass is 10 my g is and ये भी मेरा ये 80 मेरा हाइट है वी बीन लेजी बिट लेजी हियर बाय टेकिंग जी एज टेन यू कैन टेक इट एज 9.8 पॉइंट एट एज वेल यू गेट ऑलमोस्ट द सेम आंसर थोड़ा सा फर्क आएगा उसमें बट टेन इज जनरली टेकन पिछले दो तीन एग्जाम्पल में टेन लिया तो इस वाले में वन ने टेन ले लिया उसको ना वर्क सो पावर सो इट वुड बी हाउ मच सो वी मल्टीप्लाइड आउट इट कम्स टू Four times ten to the power of five joules. We can also write it as four hundred kilo joules. अभी इसके बाद क्या लिखेंगे अपन? We do the power at which the pump works. Power is what work done divided by time taken. So it is m g h upon t, giving us fifty times ten times eighty divided by ten seconds. So that would be ये जो power निकला था यहाँ पे वो फिर से डाल दिया इधर divided by ten किया. तो यहाँ पर 400 किलो जूस क्या आ रहा था मेरा वर्क डन आ रहा था मेरा पावर आ गया बस 40 किलो वॉट देन वी कम टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एफिशिएंसी तो एफिशिएंसी क्या होता है इट इज यूजफुल यूजफुल पावर डिवाइडेड बाय पावर इनपुट यहां पर एफिशिएंसी कितना है 40 परसेंट फोर्टी परसेंट मीन वॉट इट कैन बी रिटर्न इन डेसिमल दस पॉइंट फोर सो यूजफुल पावर कितना चाहिए था मुझे 40 किलो वॉट चाहिए था और एफिशिएंसी कितना है 0.4 सो पावर इनपुट कितना रहेगा तो ये पावर इनपुट जाएगा ये साइड में इक्वल टू कि ये साइड में और ये 0.4 जाएगा ये वाली साइड में तो ऑब्वियसली जस्ट रिप्लेस द प्लेसेस एंड विल गेट पावर इनपुट एज 40 किलो वॉट अपॉन पॉइंट फोर विच वुड गिव यू वन किलो वॉट सो इतना पावर हमें एक्चुअली देना पड़ेगा टू रेज दिस वॉटर फ्रॉम द डेप्थ दो यूज इतना ही हो रहा है लगभग टू एंड हाफ टाइम्स पावर विल हैव टू गिव टू द मोटर बिकॉज द एफिशियंसी इज प्रिटी लो अगर नो दिस इज अगेन यू कैन एक्चुअली 
आई कैन गिव यू पैरल एग्जाम्पल अगर मेरा एफिशियंसी एट्टी परसेंट रहता तो क्या होता तो आई वुड नीड एटी परसेंट नॉट एट परसेंट एटी परसेंट अगर रहता तो कितना होता आई वुड डू द सेम थिंग एंड आई वुड एंड अप विथ समथिंग लाइक फिफ्टी किलो वॉट लगता मुझे टू पंप अप द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर अब ये किलो ये एफिशिएंसी क्यों इंपॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज दिस इज द अमाउंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी जो अपन दे रहे हैं तो ये बहुत मायने रखेगा अगर मेरा पंप है जो 40 एफिशिएंसी uh, 40 परसेंट एफिशिएंसी पे चल रहा है और मेरा दूसरा पंप है जो 80 परसेंट एफिशिएंसी पे चल रहा है तो लगभग दुगुना पावर या फिर डबल पावर वुड बी नीडेड और अगर डबल इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर लग रहा है तो ऑब्वियसली डबल इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी भी लगेगा टू पुल द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर ओके सो यू कैन क्विकली मेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस सो दैट वी कैन गो हेड विद द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल सो द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल दैट वी हैव इज एग्जाम्पल नंबर टेन इफ पावर ऑफ मोटर इज फोर्टी किलो वॉट एट वॉट स्पीड कैन इट रेज अ लोड ऑफ टू हंड्रेड न्यूटन्स नाउ ये थोड़ा सा अलग है इसमें क्या दिया है पावर दिया है एंड स्पीड फाइंड करना है और लोड दिया है ओके तो वट डू वी हैव यर वी नो दैट पावर इज गिविन नाउ लोड क्या होगा इट इज गोइंग टू बी द फोर्स ओके मतलब क्या बेसिकली लोड मतलब क्या कर रहा है वो तो इट इज ट्राइंग टू रेज समथिंग फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अनादर सो ये पॉइंट ए पर मेरा टू हंड्रेड सॉरी टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड न्यूटन था तो इसको पॉइंट ए से लेके पॉइंट बी वी आर टेकिंग इट फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू पॉइंट बी या एंड द हाइट बिटवीन दीज टू पॉइंट इज इक्वल टू एच तो वी हैव टू फाइंड द स्पीड एट विच इट कैन रीज इट ओके ना वी यूज अ वेरी सिंपल फॉर्मूला विच टेल्स अस पावर इज इक्वल टू फोर्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वेलॉसिटी सो वेलॉसिटी वुड बी पावर अपॉन फोर्स सो पावर का वैल्यू डाला फोर्स का वैल्यू डाला पावर इज फोर्टी किलो वॉट सो फोर्टी किलो किलो वॉट इज फोर्टी थाउजेंड वॉट एंड डिवाइडेड बाय द फोर्स दैट वुड बी ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड न्यूटन्स गिविंग मी द आंसर एज ट्वेंटी मीटर्स पर सेकेंड नाउ क्विकली मेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस देन विल गो एट विद द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल दिस एग्जाम्पल टॉज उस दैट अ मैन raises a box of mass 50 kg at a height of 2 meters in 2 minutes there is another guy who is doing the same thing in 5 minutes so we compare the work done and we compare the power developed okay to ya pehla wala to kafi fatafat kaam kar raha hai dusra wala thoda time le raha hai to basically we can just question dekh ke bata sakte hai ki dusra wala thoda sa alsi hai just a lazy bum are doing some doing a lot lesser work or taking a lot more time to do the same amount of work now this is very important wo less work kar raha hai kya to nahi kar raha according to physics nahi kar raha okay so let's see how so uh, work done in raising 50 kg mass to the height of 2 meters is mgh so in both the cases it is going to be mgh and mgh mass into acceleration due to gravity into the height so here we get mass is 50 in each of the cases height uh, gravity is 10 meters per second and uh, the the distance is 2 so they'll basically cancel each other out and we'll get it as 1 is to 1 that is they are doing exactly same amount of work though the second guy is lazy he is still doing the same amount of work however power will see a considerable amount of difference so let us see what we get in the, in power so power developed by man a would be work done divided by time taken so it would be mgh by time now here time needs to be converted into seconds yahan par time diya hai minutes mein they can give it in minutes or they can give it in seconds so you need to be vigilant so it comes to be 25 upon 3 okay 10 ko is hata denge then this would become 12 would become 6 with this and that 6 would become uh 3 with this 
you guys 25 by 3 uh, watt would be the power for the first guy and we do the same thing with the second guy you see yes we need to multiply it by 5 times 60 that is 300 it gives it 10 upon 3 so the power developed by a upon power developed by b would be we put these two things here and we would end up with the ratio 5 is to 2 agar upon dekhenge to wo ratio inke time pe bhi depend kar raha hai it's completely depending on the time to so, uh, isse kya pata chal raha hai ki same amount of time mein if a does 5 units of work B would be doing only two units of work in the same amount of time. So this, this also was a pretty uh, interesting example. I'll just take you to the previous slide so that you can make a note of it and then we'll go ahead. Yeah, so please make a note of this. And then this and then this. And then this. So, uh, this was all about uh, the first part of work, power and energy and their measurements. So, we have tried to cover as many sums as possible. Uh, so if you uh, if you find that there are certain sums that you haven't understood please uh, feel free to write them in the comment box i would help you out so learners these were the numerical examples that have uh, been given in concise selena textbook for 10th icsc I have tried to solve majority of these sums which I found were important uh, according to your exam perspective. Apart from these, if you have any other queries, please feel free to comment them in the comment section. I would be glad to help you out. If you found this video interesting, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. This was Dr. Rishi from the Learners Academy. Thank you.